fourth down. It's a wide snap. Cam Newton with time for McCaffrey. Makes the catch. Did he get the first down? Cameron Curl stopped him right near the line to gain at the 35. Ladies and gentlemen, episode six of Hang Time. Fellow 918 Muskogee, Oklahoma grad right down the road. Rival high school of mine. Cam Curl. What's up, dog? What's up, twin? Hey, dude, that's a good looking hoodie. <laughs> you look good on you, too. I know this year, too, for you, but you know, as we go through the themed games, you know, Crucial Catch and um, supporting the troops and all of the different themes that we may have, this up there for one of my favorite hoodies of all yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You don't know, I uh, stole it from the first game. And they, they didn't have enough uh enough extra ones. I had to bring it back for the second game. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> dude, and they are comfy, too, yeah, bro. For sure. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Body good? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, it was getting late in the year. You late in the year? a little bit, but, you know. I don't know what you're talking about, but I've heard guys talk about <laughs> well, it for yeah, a long time. But yeah. all you got to know is just keep recovery on your body. You know what I'm No saying? doubt, man. So, a little bit of the that play that we saw in the opening. We'll get into that more in detail. Do you do you find that you reach a different level whenever the game is on the line? Because if I may gas you up just for a moment, we're going to talk about another hype man of yours later on. But if I may gas you up, bro, you just make plays, dude. And it is fun to watch. I mean, that's all I try to do. You know, I feel like I got to make plays to help the team win. And like, like you said, when it's down to the wire like that, I feel like you got to tap into another level. You no know doubt. what I'm saying? To bring that home for the team. That was a wonderful answer. Appreciate it. That was just that was humble yet clarifying and pretty baller, if I may say so myself. Working on my camera skills and stuff. You know wow, camera <laughs> skills for Cam Curl. Okay, I see what you're doing, man. All right, so going going to Carolina, mm -hmm. playing at Carolina, one pregame. So I'm a big I'm a big feels guy. Yeah, I just I get to watch a lot of the game. I get to play in part of the game, and so I really take in kind of everything. Mm -hmm. Bro, with Cam Newton coming back. And when they were doing the introductions, it was crazy. how loud that place got, got I was crazy. thinking this is going to be a little bit of a dogfight. Yeah, for sure. For that, sure. Had to, that had to be pretty. One, you guys on defense were unbelievable. And wasn't that locker room environment fun? Like, I know, man, and, and coach is so, coach is so level-headed yeah. and stays focused so well. And I was just, I wanted it so bad for so many people that came from Carolina where we're going back. And, mm -hmm. and it was kind of, it was kind of kept under wraps all week. Yeah, like, it coach was. did an awesome job. Hey, focus on us. And we do that really well. Mm -hmm. But man, that was, that had to be pretty fun to be out there affecting the game in that big of a game with everybody going back to Carolina. Yeah, that atmosphere, it was crazy. Especially crazy. like when Cam first came out, they were playing, you know, I'm coming home. Oh, and it was just really crazy. But. <laughs> You know, we had to match the energy. You know what I'm Don't saying? Doubt. We couldn't come out there. But, like, that was my first time playing at Carolina and stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, a nice stadium. But just that whole atmosphere, like, it was crazy. No doubt, man. We do have a couple of highlights. I want to – we we talk a little ball. We talk a little life. We talk a little bit of everything. But a little bit of ball here. I wanted mm -hmm. to talk about this dude number four. Yeah. So he was on the show last <laughs> week, man. He sat right where you're sitting right For there. Real? You know what I told him? I said, man, it's pretty fun to watch you play quarterback. Uh -huh. Bro, this play – it's crazy. I mean, he you makes ever play it look like simple. NBA Street or NFL Street. <laughs> yeah. This dude plays NFL Street out there, mm -hmm. and it's Sunday in Carolina, like <laughs> trying to keep the drive alive. Look, waving people down. Yeah, I feel like this is what I look like when I play like neighborhood pickup football and making April, them miss, like playing against six and seven year olds. Dude, I look like a, <laughs> I look like a dog against yeah. the elementary school kids, man. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna lie, I can make it rain out there. But dude, watching watching Taylor make some of these plays. It's is that crazy. not just fun to watch, dude? Yeah, it's it's so fun to watch, and then like he can make it look so simple. When you offense, know what I'm when the offense is on the field, you won. You have to be pretty gassed. Mm -hmm. What is it like? So I I just kind of watch that whole time. Are you are you guys locked in on offense? Are you making all the adjustments on defense? What is that actually like? I've never actually asked. Uh, that. We usually like right when we get off the field, we make the adjustments. You know what I'm saying? So probably. A couple plays in the drive, we were already watching them. I picture it being saying? like a boxing match or a UFC match. Like you come, you come off the round, uh -huh. and like Coach Harris comes by and Jack yeah. comes by, and everybody's just All like, "Hey, hey this is what we gotta do." Yeah, sounds good. Water up, <laughs> boom, let's roll. Yeah, game. sometimes you catch yourself when they're talking to you know peeking at the uh, board to see what he's doing. <laughs> you know, say you're like, "Yeah, Coach, uh huh." Uh huh. Yeah. But I it's just, it's fun watching him. Like he brings so much energy and no excitement doubt, to man. the game. Yeah, like, no doubt. Crazy. No doubt. All right, so. If I may, here on mm -hmm. hang time, 
it does say hang time with trust way. So you're kind of at my mercy and uh-huh. I want to gas you up a little bit here, man. Appreciate I'm a that. fantasy football guy. You do fantasy football? No, I haven't really played it okay. like that. So it's no big deal. It's uh-huh. really cool. There is a guy in fantasy football here for probably like the last two, three, four years Mm -hmm. where if you have the first pick, you can you can pick anybody you want throughout the whole NFL. Do you know who most people pick for that number one pick? Who? Christian McCaffrey. I would pick him. Yeah. (laughs) But you're lined up (laughs) to try and stop the one, stop them, Mm -hmm. hopefully be ending the game. Everybody's fantasy is on the line. This play. Whenever you see their alignment and you know your assignment, yeah. Do you know immediately? All right, I got twenty-two. Like on this play, when you oh, guys yeah. all lined up, you know you got twenty-two. Yeah, that was the that was the play. I mean, that was a play call. The coverage call was, you know, I got twenty-two, and it's fourth down and three, and I know they coming to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was about so. to say, if I may, <laughs> take me there. And now that obviously makes perfect sense. I. Play calling, yeah, let's mm-hmm. try and get the ball to 22. Yeah. Dude, when I saw, once again, I'm watching from the sideline. When I saw them, or when Cam launches the ball across the field, and for those of you listening, Cam rockets this thing yeah. all the way across to Christian McCaffrey. And lo and behold, as he's catching the ball, bro, you're already on him. Yeah. How hard was that bear hug the moment he caught that ball? Like, <laughs> I mean, it was crazy. It was the just tiger claw, man. Yeah, I was trying to get the ball out somehow. You know, he got it in there, and it was just at that. point. Did you point, know he was short at the moment, or did you know it was close? Or? I knew it was real close, no doubt. Because yeah. when he broke out, I could see the sticks. Yes. And when he caught it, it was like, don't let him go anywhere. You know, and stop him right here. So and that's know. saying something. Not letting that dude go anywhere. He, yeah, dude, he's so quick. I mean, my man. dog, my dog Casey, you know, got a little uh, yeah. blitz on him off yep. the line. Kind yep. of slowed him down a little bit. And then, you know, it was just... Dude, Casey's, I, Casey's a big dude, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He broke on the out route. Yep. And it was just like, I know the ball's coming. Yeah. So just try to make a play. That was something else, bro. Yeah. That was definitely fun to watch. It was a nice play. <laughs> I don't like how they, you know, after they the refs, you know, they tried to uh, set the ball quick. You know, I had to tell them, like, y'all didn't see me stop them. Like, they they initially gave the first, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah they yeah. were rolling. They were rolling the clock and everything. Yeah. Like, I, I think Coach would have tossed that red flag out there. Down, right yeah. Now. Yeah. No <laughs> doubt, man. The review. That's where the review definitely comes in handy for sure. Perfect. All right, man. So we're going to take this to our house call built by Van Meter Homes. Fun fact, my wife and I, we we live in a Van Meter home. For real? Yeah. So I got some ties to them. That's nice. And dude, we're going to go with Terry McLaurin. This dude. Now, thanks to our production team, I heard that his quote unquote weakness, which Mm. the dude has a weakness, first of all. No. But his weakness coming out was the contested catches. Dude, the dude's unreal, man. I feel like every catch he makes is almost contested. It's Ooh, like who's that scout that said that? I'm not sure. Maybe you know what? I tell you what. Let's write an angry letter, <laughs> handwritten, and I'll get a couple signatures. <laughs> yeah. And you know we won't have Terry sign it because mm-hmm. that you know that's not his it's character. Terry knows. It's dude. I'll I'll freaking do that. Yeah. I'll write an ang- I'll stern letter to somebody. Thanks. Dude, that this guy. I, I, we had Taylor on last week, like I said. I told him when it's third down and it's kind of like punt territory, not field goal territory, even if it's field goal territory. If I see the ball going in 17's direction, I just turn and walk back to the sideline because there ain't no – I mean, the it's guy's not unbelievable. It's 50 catch. It's a 90-10. Oh. It's 90-10. It's Terry McLaurin, man. Tweet that one. I like that. It's not a 50-50 ball. It's a 90-10 ball. Yeah, Terry coming down I have a feeling it. we're going to use that one, man. That's pretty <laughs> solid. Terry coming down with it, man. Yeah, dude. And then the the deep, like, there's two guys on him on the sideline. Brush himself off. Why not, Terry? Go Simple. for it. Simple. You ever cover him in practice? Yeah, sometimes. I remember uh, last year, my rookie year, you know, I was on a scout team. Oh, and yeah. Then, he did me dirty one time. You know what I'm saying? It was just, he's different though. You know? See, but the good thing about He got him sneaky doing, speed. Sneaky. And like once you figure it out, he's gone. Yes. But the good thing about him doing your dirty in practice is that we're not watching highlights of it on TV right, right. now. So there right. you go, man. No, nobody else, no, nobody See, knew that. Iron I sharpens something. iron. You guys are just making each other better and he's just big leaguing everybody. <laughs> Look, you imagine now. I'm not I'm not below trying to start up a little something, but if I'm 26 mm-hmm. and I'm trying to break up this pass and Terry gets up in front of me and brushes it off, yeah, I'd like I'd like grab some of those turf monster black things. I just throw <laughs> them back on his jersey. That pissed me right you off. You might dude. get 15. You know how they call I might, them dude. If I played a position on the field, yeah. I'd have 15 all the time. <laughs> I'm what, dude? I'm way too emotional. You guys keep it cool. Like you uh-huh. breaking down the fourth down stop with uh-huh. run CMC. You're like, yeah, man. I just yeah, I had to be in the right spot, and once he got it. 
no, I'd be all pissed off, yeah. man. I'd do something. <laughs> I'd probably get kicked off. But all right, man. So you t- you talked about, you know, last year, your rookie year. Mm-hmm. Well, this year, man, I've got a rookie. Yes, the sir. cheese. Cameron Cheeseman. Cheese man. Here on hang time. We have a cheese break delivered by Grubhub. Uh-huh. Cam, just get ready, bro. Watch awesome. watch some of this, man. Thanks, Tress. We got Havarti here today. I don't think I've ever tried this one, but uh, here we go. Here's the fact. In 1836, a New York dairy farmer sent President Jackson a 1,400 pound cheese. Jackson left it in the entrance hall of the White House to age it for two years. In 1837, the president invited the public to come and eat it. It's my turn to try it. About a 7.8. It's decent. Back to you, Tress. <laughs> the cheese man likes the cheese. So I got two questions for you on the cheese front. Mm-hmm. Cheese, thank you very much, bud. It said that somebody sent President Jackson back in the 1800s a 1,400 pound block of cheese that yeah. he just left in like the entryway. So two questions. One, were you ever the kid like, at somebody else's birthday party or whatever that you just run by and sneak some of the icing <laughs> and give a shot. Have in your life, Cam, have you ever done it when you weren't supposed to? Nah, I ain't never. You did are that lying, bro. Kick, Everybody's done that, man. I, I still feel like do it's it. so noticeable. Like, okay, you do it, you come back for the happy birthday song, and then what happened to the cake? Yeah, but whenever you do it, do you just leave the icing nah. on your finger? Or do you freaking lick it off? <laughs> you lick it off. Yeah. So how's anybody gonna know you did it? <laughs> I won't, man. See, there you go. Dude, I still do it. Like, For real? Yeah. <laughs> our our uh, our twins, we got three and a half year old twins, mm-hmm. their third birthday, <laughs> boom. Nobody knew. They, they, <laughs> they don't know now. They can't be mad at you. Yeah, exactly. So one, uh-huh. with the cheese sitting there for two years, you think anybody walked by and was just like, yeah, let me try some of this. They probably did. My thing is like, did it not stink the whole white That was stuff? my next question. Is if cheese is sitting in the entryway for two years, are you taking a bite? <laughs> no. I feel like the whole White House just stank. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I feel like that would be horrible, man. Man. But yeah, so cheese always breaks down a different cheese for us each week. So cheese, thank you for the Havarti, man. That was very cool. Uh, Maybe I could set aside some cheese and then I'll have cheese, try that cheese in two years. I'll leave it in my locker. Yeah. Age it that way. Be gross. No, the locker room would be stinky. No, (laughs) you're right. All right, Cam. So we talked a little bit about I get to be your hype man. Just for today. Mm-hmm. Just just on hang time. Big fan of yours. I have heard that your pops is the ultimate hype man. <laughs> yeah. For and sure. I might, if you can, so have you heard of the app like Cameo? Yeah. Where you, so I think your dad should have like a pricing uh-huh. of his hype services. Because <laughs> I might hire him out, man. Right, right. I might need somebody to gas me up yeah. or, you know, take your social media and be like, yo, T-Way is the dude. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell him. Okay. He ain't got to pay nothing. I'm going to tell him. Okay. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. So you and your pops, that always been the case? You playing ball growing up? Did he coach you? Like, where did that where'd that fire come from? And Because you're sitting here all chill, stopping number one fantasy overall pick, run uh-huh. CMC, and I've heard he brings some gas to the table. So what, yeah. wh- where's the where's the balance there, man? I mean, I feel, it's always been like that, you know, since I started playing. Like, yeah? I started playing football when I was six. And did like, he, he play was, ball? He played basketball. Okay. And uh, he t- when I told him, I was young, like probably five, four or five, and I told him like, I want to play football. I was watching a game, yeah. and I was like, I want to play that. And like, he ain't know nothing about it, but he was like, you know, we're going to learn it together. I like You that. know what I'm saying? And like those first couple years, I couldn't play because they were trying to put me in flag. And I'm like, nah, like I'm trying to do what they're doing on I TV right somebody. now. Like, yeah. You were so I had to wait until I was like six. <laughs> but then like he'd been there like throughout high school, you know what I'm saying? He was always, you know, they brought him in. You know, just because that support, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But he's always been there, always been the big supporter. And then, you know, he got on Twitter and just blew up even more. You know, oh, he yeah. loved Twitter. Oh, yeah, <laughs> man. So I was, I was kind of, I was doing a little creeping on you with, uh, with you. One, I wanted to know a little bit about the Woo Pig Suey with mm-hmm. Arkansas Razorbacks. I heard that the Sooners were interested in you, man. Yeah, what they the were. Heck, dude? <sighs> it was just, it was so late, man. I ain't going to lie. It's never too late for the, the Sooners. Sooners I, I like I love the Sooners, you know okay. what I'm saying. I my dad's a big fan. I love him. It's Good just man. felt a little disrespected, kind of. Okay, man. I, I respect that. I was right in their backyard, thank and it took them honesty. so long. You Thank know you. What I'm saying? Thank you for your honesty, man. 
I but agree. I don't got no bad feelings toward him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got some guys that I know who went to OU. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But it just didn't feel like it was the right place for me. That's cool, man. We get yeah. to be teammates now. Yeah. I probably sure. left OU way sooner than you would have been there anyways. Yeah. But I'm glad <laughs> yeah. we get to be teammates now, man. Yes, sir. All right. So you got an awesome relationship with Coach Harris. Mm-hmm. That dude's got some serious fire to him. Yes, sir. I want to ask you, what working with him do you feel like has kind of taken you to the next level. Cause I've got an issue with the next level that you have gone to since you first arrived uh, here as a, as a draft pick. I mean, it's just like the way he teaches that like I can understand it. You know what I'm saying? That's with all the DB coaches, but coach Harris, like the way he teaches, he, he understands cause he played, man, you know what I'm saying? So he knows how to communicate with us. Dude, the way he like talks to y'all, yeah. it is, it is definitely fun to listen yeah, to. Yes, so He knows yeah. how to communicate and just having a coach like that who knows and understands who hasn't been away from it that long. Yeah. It's like refreshing. Yes. Cause like you can come to him and ask something like, yeah, he like, I know what you were thinking right here. Yeah. But like, okay, but you can do this. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, it's always good to have that type of coach. And then the energy always he brings. Always moving forward kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And the energy he brings, like you can just feed off. He is not lacking like energy, man. Yeah, yeah. That's fun to watch. It's dude. always fun to have a coach like that. Cause yeah. you just feed off that. And like, it's the type of guy, like you don't want to let down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like that. So my issue with you going, going to the next level, mm-hmm. like personally, I'm pumped for you. But when we drafted you, yeah. I got a phone call from coach Nate Katzer and he said, Hey, we just picked up a dude for yeah. special teams out of Arkansas. And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Training camp rolls around, getting to know you a little more, getting to watch you play. And mm-hmm. lo and behold, you're not on special teams, man. You're not on that punt team. Now, I know you practice and get some reps yeah. in case anything uh, goes wrong. Oh, yeah, but there has now been two guys in the last few years that we have drafted mm-hmm. that I have been told, hey, keep an eye out for this dude. He's going to kill it for you on punt team. Yeah, One, sitting right here, Cam Curl. The other one is Terry McLaurin. He played gunner out at Ohio State. Yep. And the the old punter for the Eagles used to play at Ohio State with Terry. Uh-huh. And he used to say all the time, he's like, hey, man, that dude was nasty. Yeah. So I just want to say I am a little sour because obviously I take some pride in our uh-huh. punt team. But I'm pumped for you guys because man, man. I'm sorry. You know, special teams fun though. Fun. I love you know that first half of the season last year, you know, I was playing and yeah. it, was, it was fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was ready. To be that guy on no special team. But I'm, then I got the other opportunity and had to take advantage. As you should, man. Yes, as you should. I would have done the same thing, so that's all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. So we have Thanksgiving this week. Yes, sir. You big Thanksgiving guy? Yeah. I mean, it's always good, you know, when mama come around and cook a lot of food. No doubt. You got a couple favorites? My favorite just thing to put on my plate is sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. It's, you can't go wrong with it. How many helpings you talking about? Three or four? When I was younger, like my aunties used to bring me whole pies. Like, Shut up! And she used to tell me to hide them from everybody else, <laughs> so I can just eat them you myself. You were the favorite of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> little little favorite nephew, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. dude, I'm a big stuffing guy. Yeah, I like I, stuffing. Man, too. I love stuffing. Mm-hmm. Slam it, dude. I'm you like, watch much football on Thanksgiving? Yeah, I mean, I know got to, do. man. It's football. Football. Football on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. We go together like this. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's all I'm talking about. All right, man. So if I if I may ask you, just kind of cam curl. Mm. You sitting here and you got the hood on, yeah. super chill, making great plays. Take me to the off season. You're home, you're chilling. Mm-hmm. Where do you go back? Uh last off season, I went back to well, I go back to see my mom in Oklahoma first. Okay. You know, so I go back, back to Muscogee. Back in the nine one eight. And then I go up to Arkansas because, uh, you know, most of my dudes still in school. Okay. Because I came out early. So, okay. they, you know, go up there and chill with them, you know, just get a little away from a lot of things. No you doubt, know what man. I'm saying? Mental rest, physical yeah, rest. So, give sure. me give me something give me something in the off season because I've never even asked you this, just us talking. Mm-hmm. Give me something in the off season that you dig. You got a hobby. You got something that you're into. Anything off the top of your head? Not really. Last off season, I really didn't do a lot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, that first off season after your rookie year. Yeah, you don't. It's know like what you just want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're just wait, wait, wait. So I got to work out a little bit, and then uh-huh. I got nothing. Right. Yeah. It's man, like it's crazy. A, yeah, it takes some getting used to. But like this off season, I'm, I'm gonna go travel somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because I haven't been anywhere like that. I gotta get my passport. Oh, but, you're uh, leaving the states, man. Yeah. Okay. I gotta, gotta get out. You I know like what I'm saying? That. But that's cool. 
I don't really do too much. I just be chilling. Be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Playing football. Yeah, you're doing enough throughout the week and throughout the season to be exhausted. So I don't yeah. blame you, man. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's always good. If you exhausted, you just know you gave it your all. Yep. So yep. you just need some time. To See, rest. my first off season, I got into uh cooking. I For was real? my wife was in nursing school and so mm -hmm. I was just sitting there and I got hooked on the show Master Chef, watching uh, Gordon okay. Ramsay just yell at these people, <laughs> yeah. and them coming up with all these things to cook. And so uh -huh. I got into cooking. I kind of yeah. dug it, man. I might try that, though, because I, I feel like I need to get better at cooking. Man. I think you should, man. That's... All right, Cam. There's a way that we end hang time, bro. Mm -hmm. Three and out. It's fun to have a defensive guy on because you like three and outs. Love them. I don't like three and outs, but I have to be <laughs> ready for three and outs. Yeah. So how three and out works, bro is I'm going to give you a trivia question that has three answers. Mm -hmm. When I say go, you're going to press and hold this button on top of the Theragun. Yes. The only reason three and out is even possible is because we are sponsored by Theragun. Appreciate it. Theragun. Go to therabody.com to get your Theragun today. So, I'm going to read you the question. You have 60 seconds to get all three answers. Now, you can answer incorrectly. Mm -hmm. You can start throwing out some answers to try and get the three correct answers. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. But you only have one minute to do so. I'm sure that you're running around a lot throughout the week and covering Run CMC. Mm -hmm. Maybe give some therapy on the legs. Exactly. Shock the body a little bit. Exactly. And we'll see if you can walk out of here with a Theragun, man. That's right. Do you Appreciate have any it. questions for me before I give the question to you? Oh, well, no. Nah, let's get to it. All right, man. There you go. You will press and hold the mm -hmm. button on the top when yep. I say go. Gotcha. Cam, are you ready? I'm ready. According to the 2010 census, haven't got the stats from 2021 yet. <laughs> what are the three largest cities in the United States by population? Shock the body. One minute. Three largest cities. LA. Population. LA, number two. Okay. Houston. No. New York. Number one. Okay, one more. I got a bunch of time, too. One more. I'm a big city. Miami. No. Shock the body. Shock the body. Big city. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, Dallas. Dallas. No. How much time? What'd you say? You had a lot of time. What, like 15 <laughs> seconds ago? That time's getting uh, down, man. Let me see. Let me see. Uh-huh. Don't look at San Francisco. Great guess. No. Oakland. No. That's oh, a big city. Man. You got Texas the biggest state. San Antonio. No. Austin. Oh, Kim, you got 10 seconds. No. Don't look at the I clock, said, I said, I said, I said, LA. I said. New York. New York. Oh, Cam. Three. Two. Uh. What? Oh, what was man. It? What if I told you it ends in a bow? Orlando? No. Man, you just you're just down south, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's up north. <laughs> ends with an O up north. Chicago? Yeah. Dude, Damn. I'm so sorry. Chicago. What I, I said all warm cities too, huh? You did, man. Yeah, I'm not. Chicago too cold. It is chilly. Yeah. It is chilly. Dang. I will say, man, your first like 10 seconds, I was, I was like, crazy, going crap, crazy, he's about huh? to kill this one. And then what did you say? <laughs> you said, oh, I got plenty of time. Yeah. You got to be got, careful in three and out, man. Got too confident, Can't be too man. proud, man. Yeah, I got to stay level-headed. No doubt. Dude, it is fun watching you play football. It might be more fun to have you on hang time. Appreciate it, man. I, I enjoy it. That's just... Just you and I. Yeah. We're off to everybody's always talking in the locker room, but it's uh, been fun just chatting with you, man. Yeah. This is chilling, you know? The best little TV show I've been on. Wow. No I take backs. Yeah, I ain't been on them that many, though. But. Nah, we'll cut that part <laughs> out. Don't say that. Just be like, hey, you know, I've, everything I've ever done. This yeah, is, this, this is the best. Yeah, See, there you go. We sure. can cut that last part out. No big deal. Okay. Man, let's go take care of uh, Seattle, and let's keep grinding, man. Yes, sir. I got Thanks you, for coming, Appreciate you having me, man.